2 Peter 2, part 2. Okay, so just a little update. At this point, I have written Jacob's Ladder out because uh, we're on the second seal. The first seal broke in 2020. I'll show that to you in a moment. We're on the second seal. I'm going to show you what to expect on that in a moment, all according to the Word of God. No, no prophecy from myself. The reason I say that is a 15-minute video is a 24 to 48-hour turnaround. That's how much I'm being blocked. But I've had weeks now of doing the entire Satanic Marine Kingdom, of doing Jacob's Ladder, of doing the seals, of doing the time we're in according to Slavonic Enoch, according to the Septuagint, and according to the ancient Hebrew of the Sefer Bible and going in books that were taken out. I'm telling you, the time that we're in, the best thing I can say is read Isaiah 13 uh, through the Septuagint, not through not through modern day Hebrew. Read, read Isaiah 13 through the Septuagint and what's getting ready to happen. The supernatural is gonna become real. The giants that were banned for 70 generations are in the earth, call it the inner earth, the hollow earth, underneath the earth. Give it whatever word you want, but there are giants under there and they're going to be allowed to come out. And Isaiah 13 says it, Enoch 10 says it, and the Slavonic uh, Baruch says it. Anyway, all right, I just want to point out one thing right now you need to understand about the so-called prophets and pastors or teachers. Jesus himself, all right, always go back to the red words. When in doubt, go to the red letters. Matthew 24, 26, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is, meaning Jesus, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. All right, secret chambers is just a room. Any prophet sitting in their, in their house, in their office, at their pulpit's office, in their churches, I don't care where that prophet is sitting on social media. He is in a secret chamber. He is in his own room, in his own domain. And Jesus says, do not believe it. I am not there, period. He is not there. He is not in these days coming forth. All right, secret chambers, just so you know, right here it says 5009, a storage, a chamber, a storeroom, an inner chamber, a secret room. Anybody sitting anywhere, even in their car, they're sitting in their little secret chamber, you know, spouting off, thus saith the Lord. The Lord told me this morning, I was sitting in my, in my, you know, desk chair and the Lord took me up into the heavens. Okay, those are all lies, period. They're all lies. I'm going to go with Jesus on that. I'm never going to follow any social media so-called prophet. All right, so I wanted to show you another thing. Let me, before I go on with Second Peter, King James Bible, first seal broke in 2020. And I saw and behold a white horse, he said on, he, and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given unto him. He went forth conquering and to conquer. Crown is Stephanus, uh, literally means a crown, means corona. I want you to see the word bow here, bow. Right here, 5115, toxin. That, look at the etym, always go to the etymology, always go to the Greek. Be sure you're reading the correct language. Toxin, there was a worldwide toxin. The entire world saw it. It was a crown, it was a corona. And it went forth to conquer and conquering. That leads you into uh, Revelation 18, 2 and 3 with pharmakia. Again, these are all in videos that are coming up, and it may take me another month to upload this stuff. I'm just giving you a little heads up of what to be looking for because no one's talking about this stuff. All right, so um, let me just go on here. Right here is the Book of Enoch. I'm going to be doing a lot in the Book of Enoch. Oh, before we go, talking about, okay, if you don't believe that the toxin that was released on us in 2020 worldwide and the entire world saw it, if you don't understand that medicine is that first horse, that first horseman, if you don't understand the first horseman of the first seal being broken, go ahead and look at the Hippocratic Oath. Now, I've broken this down in videos already, and it's coming up, but let me just give you a little preview. Hippocratic Oath. Now, here's the first beginnings. It's about Apollo. The Hippocratic Oath is about making a, a promise, an oath to Apollo. Apollo 
In this country is the Statue of Liberty. It is a man. It is a little g-god. Here is the beginning of the Hippocratic Oath still said today. I swear by Apollo Healer, by Asclepius, by Hygieia, by Panacea, and by all the gods and goddesses, making them my witnesses that I will carry on according to my ability and judgment, blah, blah. And he uses that word right there. I'm not going to use it. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to, I'm not going to repeat this thing. I've broken it down in videos coming up on Jacob's Ladder. That's the Hippocratic Oath of the medicine, the system that you're in. If you want to understand the etymology of Hippocratic Oath, let's go right here. Etymology of Hippocrates is derived from hippos, meaning horse, meaning power or strength. Therefore, Hippocrates, name literally translates to horsepower or powerful horse. It is the white horseman of the first seal. Go on down here. You can read that again. I've broken it down. It's coming up. It's also the etymology, the root, hippos for hypocrite. It is rooted in the name hypocrisies, emphasizing association with horse power. All right. It also means an actor. One who answers under, this right here, this word, one who answers under, meaning understand, there's where judges come in. If you understand the whole judicial system, this right here, and again, I've linked it in, I've made other videos, it's just a matter of uploading. Let's get back to Second Peter 2 and just understand, Peter is talking about something supernatural other than human, and uh, if, you know... You're either going to resonate with that or you're not. That's totally up to you. I'm just putting out what Holy Spirit is telling me to put out because my lens is the gift of discerning spirits. I see them for what they are. They are monsters. And where I left off last video, they are simply making merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth and not. Okay, what does that say? Whose judgment, they have already been judged, all right? Their day is not come. They've been judged. It's been pronounced. They're going to be in the lake of fire, all right? But not until the second coming of Jesus, whose judgment now of a long time. It was a long time ago. Oops. Ah, come on now. Put that away. A long time ago, they rebelled. That's what being said here. A long time ago, now of a long time lingereth not and their damnation slumbereth not so this goes into the souls under the altar in revelation again the point is that there are humans among you they are immortals they are without souls they've already rebelled they are acting as your pastors and your prophets and your teachers and your leaders and your politicians and your presidents and your prime ministers and your judges sitting on the benches Everything that rules and reigns over planet Earth. These things have been judged. They know their damnation. They know where they're going. They know there's no salvation. And their job, and their one and only job, is to steal your soul to hell, to the lake of fire with them. Now, Betsy, if you don't want to believe that, that's fine. You, you just hang out and wait around for your hearts to fail. Because at some point, when this stuff, the supernatural comes alive and walking around on the surface of the earth and in your grocery stores, let's hope your heart just fails and you do not have to contend with the supernatural, let alone figure out the warfare on these guys. Second Peter 2 verse 4, for if God, that's the correct number for God, 2316, if God, oh, let me show it to you in case you don't know all of the numbers for God, Theos, divinity, Right here, the Godhead, Trinity, God, the Father, the first person, the Trinity, the second person, Holy Spirit, third person. All right. So just understand the words for little God, little G gods. There's a lot of numbers for them and understand Abba. For if God spared not the angels, that's just messenger, the number 32, that sinned, but cast them down to hell. All right. That's where they're at currently. They're going to be let loose. Down to hell. Do you want to know what that means? 5020. It means Tartarus. The name of a subterranean region. Dark. Regarded by the ancient Greeks as the abode of the wicked dead. Where they suffer punishment for their evil deeds. It answers to Gehenna. 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 Of the Jews. All right. Thrust down to hell and deliver them into chains of darkness. As Jude tells you in Jude 
1, 6. Chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. All right, Apollo, if you understand, they're king. They have a king among them. His name is Apollo, Apollyon, Abaddon. Read Revelation 9, 11. I, I'm going to try and get through Second Peter here within as many few videos as I can, and I'll be moving on from there. Verse 5, And spared not the old world, what is the old world? It's before Noah. But saved Noah and the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Just a quick note, ungodly means impious or wicked, destitute of reverential awe towards God, condemning God impious. That's not a potter's vessel. They, they were made by God. They rebelled against God. There is zero light in, in, in them. There is zero fear of God in them. And they are nothing but dark, but they have dominion over us, as in Ephesians 6, 12. Verse 6, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, and condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. And deliver just Lot, vexed, and with the filthy conversation of the wicked. All right, so the wicked was all around Lot. He was in Sodom and Gomorrah, and there were these immortals that understood who and what angels were. That's the reason they wanted to lay with them when the angels walked in that Lot tried to protect. Let's just look at the definition of wicked here. One who breaks through the restraint of law and gratifies his lust. Criminal. All right. Moving on. For that the righteous man dwelling among them. Okay, it's always us and them. Understand that. It is always us and them. That is why Jesus says, my people, my people, my people. God in the Old Testament says, my people. Right? Not everyone that looks human are God's people. Dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. They are trying to vex your soul. What is vexed? To torture, pain, toil, torment, toss, and vexed. And then you can read the rest of that. I'm going to try and move on here and get as much done as I can. The Lord 2962 is a number. Always look at the number. This is our Abba Father. All right, so the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly, that's us potters, godly. 2152, well, that box is closed. That's okay. We can, you know what godly is. We don't need to explain that. The Lord knoweth how to deliver godly his people. All right, that's what the Lord's prayer is about. Understand, Jesus explains that in the Lord's prayer. I think I said that in the last video. Deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust. We've already talked about that. That is your prophets and your pastors and your teachers today. 99% of them, all right? Okay, there's a half percent. There's a 1%. That's not that. But that's, okay, that's a very small number. Hearing the, his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. You follow them. This is, this is letting your kids, all right? As an example, putting mermaids all over the room. You, you understand what I mean when I get to the satanic marine kingdom. Letting them listen to the music that is in the world today. And that does include Christian music, by the way. Verse 9, the Lord... Oh, sorry, I said that one already. Verse 10. But chiefly them that walk... Them. Okay, it's us and them. Them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government and presumptuous are they not us potters self-willed they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities so understand they have zero fear of god if you watch these prophets who since 2020 has been saying you know some guy is going to take back some presidential position they've been saying it for four years without any repentance Without any like, oh, my bad. I guess it wasn't thus say of the Lord. They just go on to the next set of lies. That's all it is. And there's not one single person on social media, not one, not one, who has repented and said, my bad, I was wrong. 
all right? He didn't ever come back into office. The military never did a, a coup. Whatever the, whatever the ridiculous, this is them. They don't care. There's no salvation. I'm going to wrap it up with verse 11, uh, and then hopefully the next video we'll finish out Second Peter. Second Peter 2, verse 11, whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, hear what this says now, greater in power and might, bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord. It's not their time. This is, this is the same as our, uh, uh, Michael when he, when he was contending over Moses' body with the devil said, the Lord rebuke you. The angels do not have the power, the authority, or any business intervening on our behalf or anybody's behalf or even in front of Father God. All right? These guys have their time, and their time is coming to the surface of the earth in the spiritual warfare if you read it in the Septuagint, if you read it in the Sefer, if you understand what's coming, that's why your hearts will fail, potters. This potter is out. For now.